Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod CC showcase. So I don't have a name for this showcase just yet, and it's almost hard for me to describe what type of showcase that this is going to be. But essentially, I have compiled a list of 10 mods that I think that you absolutely need in your game, especially if you are somebody who is a bit of a minimalist, you don't want to play with a lot of mods, you don't want to play with a lot of CC, you want to keep your game as vanilla as possible, but you're wondering what are the mods that you absolutely need this showcase is for you the first half of the showcase is going to take place right here in create a sim where all of the magic happens because we are trying to keep our game looking as vanilla as possible but also elevated a little bit i have a couple default suggestions for you the first thing that i suggest that you pick up is a default skin it can be any skin it doesn't have to be what i'm using but in case you are wondering what i'm using i am using the sage skin by sammy xo i love this skin because it is very Maxis match. It doesn't, it doesn't deter too much from the original mesh for The Sims, but it does have its own little element that kind of adds a little bit of juice to my vanilla game. So I really like this one. And with that, I also suggest that you pick up a pair of default eyes. I say a pair, but I meant like a set of default eyes. This can definitely be tricky. I have searched high and low for default eyes. I've used a lot through the years. And I feel like the Delicate Eyes by Plumhead sims are absolutely hands down one of my favorites the main reason why is because i can filter through any of these swatches and the eyes look very flattering on my sims it doesn't start to get weird once you get into the lighter shades and start looking like contacts or too fake it does definitely look different from, from the ea eyes that we have in game but it still doesn't take it too far from that vanilla look you wouldn't really know unless you know it's kind of like you know the no makeup makeup look sort of <laughs> yeah that's the theme that we're going for my last default suggestion would be a pair of 3d default teeth i'm telling you the teeth that come with the sims 4 are just really atrocious looking they're like flat they look like those cheap clip-on dentures that you purchase off the internet now i've seen some good ones but trust me baby those are not it but these are so much better and again these defaults are just suggestions feel free to kind of use it as a guide to template and play around with some defaults that work for you and create the look that you're going after but for me these teeth by magic bot are freaking top tier what i love about them is that there's so many different types of teeth to choose from that will really add a little more personality to your sims's chompers so we have what appears to be like maybe some i think this says like smoker or something i don't know they're kind of like stained right then we have gold teeth we have an occult pair of teeth which are mermaid japanese normal braces I love the races ones. We also have the two front or the two large front teeth. We have the slit, aka the gap. And ooh, I'm wait, hold on. You get actually changed. <gasps> you can change the color of the teeth. See, I didn't know you could do this. I just discovered this right now. This is crazy. So with some of these, you can change the the caps so like these ones i think it says um slanted gold and if you come over here you can actually change the gold on the teeth and you can do it for the silver ones too so that's really cool and then the last one is the curve so it just kind of has like a set of imperfect teeth i mean the detail is there you can even see the molars in the back this next mod is a staple whether you want to get as close to vanilla as possible or you are just modded out to the nines. It is the No EA Lashes by Kajiko. So by default, some of these eyes that we have have this thick, nasty band on them. I know some people don't necessarily mind them, but I personally cannot stand them at all whatsoever. So this mod basically eliminates that and in theory gives you more options in terms of eye presets to play with. So I think hands down, this is an essential again no matter if you are modded up or if you're trying to simplify our last and final cast mod really isn't a mod that's going to change the look of your sims at all it actually changes the cast catalog ui within your game so by default we have a two columns and the more packs and expansions and kits and things of that nature that you have the harder it becomes to kind of identify or find an item or just simply peruse through your collection so i really like the columns mod by weir because you 
you have an option to do like three columns you can do four i think you can even go up to five but i've found four is kind of my sweet spot i think it would really just matter on how much content you have in your game in terms of what preset would be best for you the other half of the showcase is going to be focusing on gameplay we're going to start off with mcc command center there's a million reasons why you should have mcc command center installed into your game even if you are trying to go as vanilla as possible the mod itself allows you to fine-tune a lot of different aspects within the game to your liking there's two different ways you can access mcc command center and they both do different things so in order to change like some pretty heavy core values within the sims you're gonna need a computer i'm pretty sure you could probably access mcc command center or this part of the command center through the mailbox but i'm not entirely sure so just for the sake of this video we're gonna go through the computer and we're gonna hit mcc command center so this is gonna give you a big old menu of different features in the game that you will now be able to have full control over i do believe in mcc settings you're able to enable autosave which was a feature that was introduced in the beginning of the sims 4 but was discontinued for some reason you can play with other things like gameplay settings money settings notifications relationships and so on and so forth let me tell you this mod is massive so I'm not going to be able to highlight everything in this video. But for now, I just want to kind of touch base on some of my personal favorites. So let's go down a little bit and we're going to land in MC Woohoo. I think it's actually an add on. So when you're downloading MCC Command Center, make sure that you also download the MC Woohoo file. So here you can hop into Woohoo Actions. You can enable certain parts of Woohoo that you weren't able to enable before. For instance, you can allow polygamy. You can also enable no strings of woohoo which essentially means that your sims don't necessarily have to be romantic in order to have a little rump in the sack i love this and if you are ever confused about a feature within mcc command center thankfully a debtor pool has it so that it's pretty straightforward there's always like a little description letting you know what you're about to change this is where you can also enable the setting to allow your elders to try for a baby another one of my all-time favorite settings for mcc command center is also underneath MC Woohoo and it's located in the Woohoo pregnancy category and that is the ability to enable risky Woohoo within your game. By default it's very clear and concise when a pregnancy could potentially occur and in order for that to happen you have to select try for a baby and that's fun and all I think there's like an 80% chance that you might get a pregnancy as a result but what if you wanted it to be that any time your sims performed Woohoo there could be a chance of pregnancy so you would go into this uh, menu here and then you can actually set the percentage by the age group so young adult I have it at 15 I think for adults I would do 10 maybe elders I would do five or zero in woohoo reactions you can enable things like bed sharing when enabled sims will sleep in beds with other sims ignoring their relationships do keep in mind every time you make a change you do have to restart your game I don't believe every single goal alteration requires a restart but a lot of them definitely do you can even do things like no jealousy perhaps your sims are in a kind of like platonic not a platonic relationship but not a serious relationship or maybe they're just friends with benefits or they're polyamorous whatever it is this is really cool because sims will no longer be jealous in reacting to other sims especially like their love interests and things sleepy woohoo is also a cool one because when an npc is involved in bed woohoo between 10 and 4 a.m they will actually sleep in the bed instead of getting up going around your house maybe leaving uh, dining and ditching if you will so those were just a few of my favorite settings within MC Woohoo by clicking on your sim you can access another part of MC command center within sim commands you can do things like modifying a household and create a sim so the cool thing about MC command center is this actually works for sims outside of your household so say you're at the gym and you see a random county wearing a hideous outfit but you kind of want them to be a part of your sims experience and you want to switch them up a little bit you can actually modify them within this section and obviously modify your own sims you can even dive into sim commands here and you can modify a sims career outfit you can set their age you can maintain them meaning you can kill or delete the selected sim you can even change their gender preferences rename them move them 
to other households, etc. Underneath teleport commands, you can actually teleport a sim to another sim located either on the same lot or somewhere else in the world. So say there's a sim, you know, in a land far, far away and you want them to be on your lot, you can actually bring them to you. And underneath MC cheats, you can do things like increase your funds. You can also cheat your sims info, which essentially allows you to cheat like their career. I believe you can also set their mood and choose their skills. I do have a mod that makes this a lot easier. It's not necessary, but if you don't want the next mod that I'm about to mention, then you can also do that here. And my all time favorite uh, thing that I can do with MCC Command Center is actually underneath MC Dresser. Okay, so have you ever created a sim and you wanted to copy certain attributes, whether it's their makeup, their accessories, across all outfits, or maybe you wanted to do it for a hairstyle or an outfit just in general? Um, this is where you'd be able to do that. So let me just show you really quick. You can come in here and also change your sim's outfit too. So, oh, if you're like posing your sim and you're like oh my gosh i don't i don't like i don't like what they're wearing you can actually just click them and change their outfit with mc command center without resetting them super helpful so you'll notice here we have my sim just kind of wearing almost all of the same outfits except for this this is her this is her work attire but here is a blank um, a blank template and I think this is actually for her winter wear so say I wanted to carry over everything that she's wearing in her everyday wear and I wanted to apply it to her winter wear I'll show you how to do that really quick you're first gonna want to make sure that your sim is wearing everything that you want to carry over to the next outfit category we're gonna start off by copying and copy and pasting her outfit so we have her in her everyday wear and we're gonna transfer this outfit to her winter wear so we're going to go into copy and paste. We're going to click copy outfit. Then we're going to back up a little bit. We're going to change her into her winter wear. And then we're going to go and select paste, paste outfit. And now that outfit from her everyday wear has been applied to her winter wear. Next, we want to do makeup. We want to do hair and we want to do accessories. So we got to go back. We got to change her into her everyday wear. We're going to click copy and paste. We're going to copy her makeup. We're going to go back. We're going to change her back into her winter wear. And then we're going to select paste. We're going to paste <laughs> her makeup. It's a little confusing. See, now you can see she's wearing her makeup. You can also just click paste makeup to all outfits if you want to. Um, but I'm just showing you how to do it individually. And now we need to go back and copy her everyday hair to her winter wear so we're going to go back and change her outfit one more time and then we're going to select copy and paste we're going to copy her hair go back we're going to change her outfit back into her winter wear then we're going to go into paste and then we're going to paste her hair okay you follow me so that's kind of it's, it's a little tedious but i mean it works and it's definitely a lot faster than having to do this in create a the last and final category i want to showcase with an mc command center is mc pregnancy this is different than the mc I think it was like woohoo pregnancy settings that I showed you all earlier. This one actually controls pregnancy functions like changing terms, clearing pregnancies, creating new pregnancies, changing the incoming offspring on a pregnant sim. So my sim's not pregnant. We're going to start a false pregnancy. I'm going to make the baby a boy. So I'm going to select one for one male and then zero for females because I think if you leave it blank, you'll end up getting twins. And you can only do up to triplets, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to select OK, and here we can now control the pregnancy phase. So if you want your sim to immediately go into labor, you can do that. You can also set like individual trimesters, you can change the partner for the pregnancy. You can even end the pregnancy. Or if you're looking to extend the pregnancy, you can always pause the pregnancy. Mod number seven is called UI Cheats. It is seriously hands down one of my my favorite mods ever it is so handy i absolutely loathe whenever it breaks but this mod is an essential i don't even care if this is the only mod that you play with you absolutely need it for so many reasons where do i even begin with this mod you can control your household funds you can add simoleons galactic credits bits pieces you can even get rid of a unwanted buff say your sim has like a poor mood light you don't want it you just would right click it and get it out of here you can even control 
control your want so you can complete a want you can re-roll a want hopping in into your sims's needs say your sims super duper hungry you don't want them to be hungry anymore you can max that motive out or if you wanted your sim to have a very unfortunate ladder accident all you need to do is just click it and it'll take it right down to the bare bones or wherever you want it obviously this would work for hunger i'm not saying anything i'm just simply saying um, you can control relationships so if you want your sim to have a super high relationship or a bad relationship whatever you can do that too uh, to be honest with you there's not very much you can't do with this mod you can even promote demote change a branch in your sims career you can cheat their skills you can even cheat their traits so say you have um, a trait that your sim you know acquired you don't want them to have it anymore you can remove it you can also change the game time you can change the lunar cycle <laughs> You can even advance the season as well as change the weather and you can even add to the age process, meaning you can add days or even subtract days from your Sims' life. If you're somebody who spends a lot of time in Build Buy, I think you should definitely nab the Better Build Buy mod by Twisted Mexi. Not only can you actually access the camera mode in Build Buy, there are a ton of other features that I personally think you would find find useful one of the recent additions though it's not really like a build by feature specifically is the elimination of the shopping cart that the sims or ea recently introduced basically it was a shopping cart that if you clicked it it would give you game pack recommendations based on what it thought you might like super annoying nobody asked for that but thanks to twisted mexi it is gone once you've installed better build by there will be some edits to your little tag system here within build by one of the things that you can now do is you can permanently enable move objects on because i think it how it works is every time you enable it if you restart the game you have to re-enable it and that can be kind of annoying you might forget or it's just simply tedious so make sure it's checked and you will never have to do that again um, this button here it's not super clear but basically it organizes debug another cool little feature is that you can ignore unlocks so if there is an item within your game that's locked now all you have to do is just hit ignore unlocks and you have access to those items if you jump into content this is where I definitely think the mod shines the most so you can filter out different sections of your catalog by category so you can section your catalog by all the unlockable items or you can search it by purchased items which I'm not entirely sure what that means but I personally love using the hide maxis option which essentially will hide all of your in-game items that are not custom content so if you click the custom content tab and you have more than one piece of CC all of your CC items will now fill up the catalog so if you wanted to do a CC only build, this is a great way of achieving that. Or if you didn't want any of your CC to show in your catalog and you wanted to do a CC free build, this is a way of doing it and the same thing works too if you're looking for strictly debug items you'll click hide maxis then you'll hit debug and now you'll be able to see all of your debug items at a glance you can even expand your catalog by clicking the little like wavy key above the tab key i think it's like an apostrophe or i don't know like, like a wave or something it's like a squiggly line again it's above the tab key next to the one um but yeah you can just expand it and you can kind of see everything this definitely makes navigating the catalog so much more easier to uh, return it back to normal you would just hit that key again there's also a couple of brand new categories such as like transportation debug and live edit but I really like the transportation tab because with it I can actually see all of the various transportation items within the Sims 4 obviously they're just for decor purposes but I mean if you wanted to decorate a build with a bunch of cars or maybe Maybe you needed to take a look at the airplanes you're able to see those and just find them a little more effortlessly another really cool feature with better build by is that any debug or live edit object can now be duplicated with the little dot 
eyedrop, eyedropper tool <laughs> so you can copy an object with ease. I don't think you were able to do that before. It would just say like you can't find the object or you can't duplicate it, which I find very annoying. But now you can. Better Build Buy also gives you the ability to favorite items within the catalog. So say there was something in live edit that I wanted to save for a future build or maybe it's an item that I gravitate towards a lot and I didn't want to have to like go and filter through the entire catalog. I just wanted to save it for later, easy access. All you need to do is just click the scroll wheel on your mouse to save an item. And I don't think there's any limit to how many items you can choose, but once you've saved an item, it will turn like this blue color with a star. And then you can go here to your favorites and all of your favorite items will appear. To get rid of a particular item, you would just hit your scroll wheel again, and then a little red flag would appear. And then once you come back into your favorites, it does take a little second, you'll notice that it's disappeared. The ninth mod in our showcase is more of a tuning mod, so it's not something I can really show you. It's just one of those things that I've kind of noticed really bothered me when playing vanilla that maybe I didn't notice before. So this mod is called the Less Obsession mod by Vicky Sims, and it actually fixes 111 excessive autonomous actions that your Sims will perform, such as playing on their phone, phone texting, washing their hands constantly, grabbing books, just anything that you could think of that your sim does a lot, probably more than they should, to the point where it gets on your nerves, this tuning mod will fix. It doesn't matter if I'm playing with a ton of mods or barely any at all. The one thing I love doing is utilizing my household calendar. The one thing I did notice though is that we don't really get a ton of icons. So that brings me to our last mod, which is the More Holiday Icons by Little Miss Sam. There's two different versions of this pack. You can download a hundred icons or you can download up to 2000. I will say when editing a holiday, there is just a little bit of lag, but do y'all see how many different icons I have? And we've barely even scratched the surface. With this, I'm able to customize my holidays, create new ones, new ideas, use them for different events in my Sims lives. There's just a lot more that you could do with the household calendar if you have the appropriate um, icon to support it. So I think Polar Palooza is definitely one of those icons. I have one for like Father's Day. I have another one for like the World Plum Bob. I think that the football finals is also one of those custom icons. And I want to see the summer festival too. If you guys are interested in watching a video to kind of get some tips and tricks of what kind of um, holidays you can add to your household calendar, Ocean Sims did an amazing video that I'll link down below. I will say I did do like a couple, like maybe one or two different from her, but that video is amazing and it is the inspiration behind my calendar. So I'll definitely link it below. With that said, I am going to throw in a little bonus mod. You don't have to. Um, install this, but it's also by Little Miss Sam and it is the no school tradition, right? So here you can see for the second week of summer, I have summer break happening. If we actually go into the holiday itself, you'll notice that I don't have a day off work slash school checked off. And that is because I want it to be so that the parents, the adults in the household still go to work, but the kids they stay home. So this little custom holiday tradition allows you to do that. Well, you guys, that's pretty much a wrap for the showcase. However, I do have one little thing to share with you. So if you want to make your vanilla game look even better, I do have a G shade preset that I've created supporting that. So if you're not familiar with what G shade is, it's an external mod that attaches itself to the Sims 4 and it gives you the ability to change the way that your game looks. So I I will leave a link to the G-Shade that I'm using in this video, my brand new preset, which is called Gemini. Um, in that listing for this preset, there's also a link to a video that will teach you how to install G-Shade. It will get you familiar with G-Shade. Um, but let me just show you guys really quick the subtle difference that my G-Shade makes. And I really, really like it. I feel like this G-Shade is perfect because it does add some realism to your vanilla game, which kind of sounds weird without you needing a whole bunch of mods and like CC 
to again support that but here is what my game looks like all right i'll let you guys go and take a little a little gander here um with my g shade on another thing that i really really love about this g shade is that i do have a depth of field filter um so if you push it it'll just keep the main object in view and then it creates like a nice blur surrounding it this is great for like thumbnails and stuff so this is what the game looks like with my preset and this is what the game looks like without it well you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here do keep in mind everything that i've talked about within this video will be linked on my website at xurbansinsx.com which you can find the link to down in the description i hope y'all enjoyed the showcase and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what y'all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next week